we have the unboxing of my basically my dream acoustic guitar. This is a Gibson J45 cutaway standard acoustic. I feel like I'm going to need something to lay it down on. I'll pull out my piano bench here. See if we can also move aside some equipment. That's not necessary at the moment. May become necessary shortly. Nice and sweet water to pack it in such a way. to feel like it's going to be safe. All right, Sweetwater, caution, read this before opening. We realize you really want to open this box to start playing your new instrument, but we strongly recommend you wait 24 hours before doing so. Sudden and drastic changes in temperature or climate can potentially damage the clear coat, finished paint, or even the wood itself, which could also impact the playability and functionality of your instrument. Waiting 24 hours before opening this box will allow the instrument to slowly adjust to your home or facility temperature and climate and will help avoid any related issues. This is particularly important during the winter months when climates are quite different across the country. So that's where we're at. This package has been in my home for about 12 hours. I'm going to say that's good enough. So, just need something to open it with. And just the thing. A good old-fashioned box cutter ought to do the trick. Obviously something I can set to a minimal height so it's not to damage anything on the inside. very nicely with some solid styrofoam. Now the box. Not sure what's in there. Go ahead and find out. Shout out to my guy Mike Hammond over at Sweetwater. He definitely suggested I get this Humida pack since this is a very expensive and valuable guitar. You want to do something to take care of it. Humida pack, two way humidification system. A little light might help you. How about that? Need anything? 
musical instrument wise, and Mike will help you out. All right. This is probably where I need to lay it down on the bench. Let's get that going. This was a demo unit. There were, on the pictures, I'm very curious to see, there were pictures, I got a little discount because I bought one that had a few light scratches on it. I could barely see them on the pictures, quite difficult to see. And so I'm curious to see if those pictures did any justice to what they were, if they were more or less than what the pictures appeared to be. So I guess I'm being as careful as I can about pulling this out of the box. This is this side up. Not as easy as it may look. Alright. So there we have the Gibson box. So our box. There's a catalog and an invoice in there. We'll get to that shortly. Well, candy, you always get when you order from Sweetwater. All right. Let's do this again. This has been opened by the Guitar Gallery at Sweetwater. Looks like this is actually the box that the guitar was shipped from Gibson. In looks like Montana to Sweetwater. So it's interesting. Of course, the box inside the box will essentially contain another box because here you have, of course, your beautiful case that comes with the new Gibson guitar. So, there we go. There, let's get to that here momentarily. I like to save packing materials, you just never know. Especially for the first little while you own a new instrument. Put that aside, I'll pack that up later. Okay. Here's the most exciting part to me. Let's bring the old throne over here. what it's all about. This could be, and I hope it is, my forever guitar. So, big moment. Oh, wow. So, of course it's packed in beautifully. It's so light. Got a note here. Inspected by Mark and Bryce. It's my serial number, 55 point inspection. Go the extra mile to play, test, tune, and inspect. That is something else. Let's take a look. It's so light. Okay, so the J45, if you don't know, is a solid spruce top electric acoustic guitar. Uh, it has mahogany back and sides, rosewood fingerboard. Um, it has a tusk nut and bridge. Of course, the 
Tusk nut, Tusk ridge. Uh, classic uh, saddle there. And uh, Grover tuners. That beautiful pearl Gibson inlay. I'm tempted to see the scratches that were in the pictures. And I gotta tell you, I do not see them. It must have been so light. What a deal. So if you ever see a, uh, a deal on Sweetwater on a, a blemished product, don't be scared because I mean, I really, I think they oversold any scratches because I really cannot see them. I can't even see where they were pointed out. Supposedly, there's one right there somewhere, but I, I don't see it. So, let's see how it sounds. Probably not tuned. <laughs> and, of course, it, it does sound like it's tuned. It's just a gorgeous sound. sounding uh, just what I always imagined and dreamed that it would um, seems to be just a little bit of a chip up here near the headstock I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video very very minor I don't know that it's a deal breaker for me but you spend this much on a guitar and Maybe somebody out there can tell me if that's something I should be concerned about. Can you see it? Right there. that's always a thing you buy an instrument online you never can know for sure maybe nothing it is a little bit out of tune actually mm -hmm. 